Hello everyone and welcome to another at Maths tutorial video. Now I'll be discussing SPM 2016 paper 1 question number 22 from form 5 chapter 1 progressions short question. Okay before that please like this video to show your support and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming mathematics tutorial videos in the future. Okay let me read the question now. It is given that x plus 1 2x minus 7 and x plus 1 over 4 are three consecutive terms of a geometric progression with a common ratio of 1 over 2. So the question asks to find the value of x. The first term if x plus 1 is the 12th term of the progression. So this is the overall question. So I hope that you will attempt this question in the future. If you could manage to solve this question, a big thumbs up to you guys. But if you can't solve this question, no worries, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step working and the solutions. So without further delay, let us start to solve this question. In this question, they mentioned that x plus 1 is the 12th term, which is this one. So from here, we can conclude that 2x minus 7 is the 13th term. x plus 1 over 4 is the 14th term respectively in the series of geometric progression provided with the common ratio of 1 over 2. So to find the value of x, so we need to compare with the common ratio value given by the question. In this case, is 1 over 2. So in order to do that, you need to know the formula to find the common ratio. So how to find the common ratio? So this is the following formula, guys, where r is equals to tn, you divide with tn minus 1. Okay, in this question, you can choose either two ways. Okay, you can choose to form a common ratio uh, between t13 divide with t12 or t14 divide with t13 okay it is up to you in this working i'm going to choose t13 divide with t12 as it is easier to solve okay so let us uh, do the calculation and then we compare with the common ratio value so from here t13 you divide with t12 you should get equals to 1 over 2 okay let me underline the fraction here okay in the question t13 is given as 2x minus 7 okay and your t12 is x plus 1 okay and then you equal to 1 over 2 okay let me underline the fraction here okay so for the next step what we're going to do is we're going to cross multiply the fraction so from here 2 you times it 2x minus 7 so from here you get 4x minus 14 so x plus 1 you times it 1 okay you remains the same you get x plus 1 okay you solve this linear equation okay so from here you get 3x is equals to 15 so to get the x what you do 15 you divide with 3 so from here you should get your x is equals to 5 so this is your solution for the question part a let me underline this okay if you choose to solve using t14 divide with t13 you also will get the same answer where your x will be equals to 5 so that is all for the step by step working for the solution part a let us continue for the part B now. To solve the question part B, the first step on what we need to do is the answer that we obtain in the question part A. So we're going to substitute this value into the 12th term of the progression. In this case is x plus 1. Okay, let us do that. Okay, in the question is given t12 is equal to x plus 1. So when, when we substitute x equals to 5 over here, so you will get is equals to 6. So your 12th term will be equals to 6. So this will be your first step. Okay, I hope you understand the working till now. Okay, we have already obtained the 12th term which is equals to 6. And we already know the common ratio is equals to 1 over 2. So the first term we don't know yet. So that is the one we're going to find in this question. So to how to find the first term? Okay, we are going to use the Tn formula for geometric progression where Tn will be equals to 
a r to the power of n minus 1 okay so this is the formula to find the tn value for geometric progression okay let me box this formula okay so this tn we're going to substitute with the t12 value where we already get equals to 6 so the common ratio r will be equals to 1 over 2 so we substitute over here okay the first term a we don't know yet so that is the one we're going to find out okay so from here t12 will be equals to a r to the power of 11 okay so from here t12 will be equals to 6 equals to okay a so your common ratio r will be 1 over 2 to the power of 11 okay so i hope you understand the working till now so 1 over 2 to the power of 11 you calculate this you should get 6 equals to a in a bracket 1 over 2048 okay close bracket so let me underline this fraction so to find the a what you do 6 you divide with 1 over 2048 so from here you should get your first term a is equals to 12,000 288 so this is your first term a so let me underline the solution okay so that is all for the step by step working and solution for this question i hope you understand the full working that i've shown to you if you like this video please give your thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more upcoming mathematics tutorial videos in the future and not to forget to share this video. Thank you everyone for your support and I will see you in the next video.